Yo, what's going on, guys? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Tuesday, October 1st, 2019. Fuck is up? Yo, yo. So, damn, spit on my screen. Yo. Yo, yo. So, yo, I'm watching this fucking video this morning, dude. Where the hell is it? This shit. Fucking Crypto Talk Monday. They talk with witness Yaba P. Matt about Steam and Splinterlands by Exili. Exile. And let me say, dude, this is a great ass video. Holy shit. Uh, you know, I'm going to read the comments and I want to comment on this shit too, but damn, dude. So, Talk about fucking being open and honest, dude. Y'all would be mad. Keeping it real. Keeping it fucking real, dude. And probably scaring a lot of motherfuckers that hold steam, dude. That's my impression. You know, he's keeping it real and he's talking about steam. Why the fuck the dudes... Why would people hold steam? And this came up the other day where Charles Fux was talking about it. Stacking about to hold steam you know all these dudes you should get 500 steam or whatever where's the shit at uh so i was like you know whatever i don't know he was saying uh hold steam and i was like what's the point why would i hold steam and he said why not which is a terrible response uh, DDR Freak gave me a good response saying uh, you have more weight and uh, this chick, yeah, you know, decent, so, you know, not just a person that uses the space, but so what? You know, morality, you know, you're hitting me with morality so I can be a partner in the network instead of a person who just uses the space. No! Welcome to the earth. Welcome to the world. People use. People use. All right? There's no morality here. There's no be a good person and give. You know, no, that doesn't fly in the real world. That would be great, that would be nice, but it just does not work. Let's say I'm just a consumer. Let's say I'm just a browser. Let's also say I'm just a creator. You know, what is the benefit of holding Steam? And Yaba P. Matt was, was trying to get on that, and I wish he would have expanded on it a little further. It was in the beginning. I'm gonna re-listen to it. I wish they would have talked about it further. Maybe that's what I'll comment. And he said he was struggling to see a reason to hold steam, a reason to stack steam, a reason to power up steam. What is the reason? Why? This is not good. You know, I don't know. It's not good for steam, in my opinion. The only thing I can freaking see about doing steam is you power up steam. And look at me. What do I got? 300? So I'm close to being a minnow at 500. The only thing, the only thing that's good for it would be you power it up so that you can earn more. So, okay, I mean, I could see that, but what makes Steam different that's, than somebody else that might do that? You know, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I, I'm struggling to see this as well. I don't understand. I don't get it. You know, why wouldn't I put my money in Bitcoin? Bitcoin has a unique thing that it's fucking hard money. <laughs> no one can fuck with it. That's fucking unique as all hell. Splinterlands, you know, why wouldn't I just put my money in Splinterlands? I get to play a game that I like. Why would I, why would I lock it up here? You know, I don't really like the system. I guess I see the system. You could delegate your steam and then, you know, you see all these dudes that make posts and they got their post up and then look, they got 700. These aren't real people. 500 upvotes, 700 upvotes, even this 84 upvotes, 300 upvotes. These aren't real people, man. You see all these stupid ads like this dude, Dave Dickey, y'all. You know, I, I don't mind him. I think he's funny. But 159 upvotes, that's not real people, man. There's these services and shit where you, you, you give them money, you give them steam, and then they give you steam back and upvotes or some shit. You know, it's this whole system. I don't know. I don't like that system. 
the system's whack. Like this guy right here, here you go, 306 upvotes. Ain't no 300 people giving him 14 bucks. This is a system where people just use the system to do. That's what they do. Like here, Trevon James, 600 upvotes. This ain't 600 real people, man. This is bots and shit and this and that. You know, and I never fully understood it and I never fully got into it because I'm just a normal dude, you know? I don't, I didn't want to get into that shit. Do I? I probably should, right? Because I'm stupid if we're not. I should hustle all the way through and try to get as much as I can. But I'm just saying, like, look, hey, I'm a normal dude. I just create content. You know, the normal dude doesn't want to go through all this shit and jump through all these hoops and set up all this shit, man. Just let it be real. Just let it be an ecosystem where people could just come and click and this and that. But it's not in Steam, you know? It's not. Steam set up, it's a little fucked up. Um, also, some concerning things is that Matt said he doesn't know what the fuck Steam's doing with the blockchain. He, has, he doesn't have much contact with them. He doesn't even know if they have a clear vision for the future. What the fuck? What the fuck, you know? It would be easy for me to sit on here. I could gain a lot of fans and a lot of people by just saying, oh, cheerlead Steam. Yay, yay, yay. Steam, Steam, Steam. You know, that's what everybody does. Steam, Steam, Steam. Hooray, hooray. Everybody's jumping in the fucking, jumping off the cliff. You know what I mean? At the same time. Everyone's drinking the poison. Yeah, yeah. You know, no. I'm trying to have a rational, logical, open mind. And I'm not saying I hate Steam, but I'm just saying I can't understand it. I don't understand the use case. I don't understand the value proposition. I understand Splinterlands value prop. Shit. And another thing that Matt said, the Splinterlands can go to any blockchain. So, you know, it doesn't even lock in to Steam. So it's some scary shit, man, if you're fucking overly invested in Steam. Like I've been saying forever. Come on, these damn comments. Like I've been saying forever, dude, if you're investing in Steam, like it's money, like it's your fucking retirement, you're investing like it's your shit. You might want to reevaluate that shit, bro. I mean, you probably already lost your fucking shorts, as it is. <laughs> but you, you might want to reevaluate that shit, man. Steam is not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. You gotta chill out with that shit, man. Shit, <laughs> you better reevaluate. You better fucking reevaluate that shit, man. Damn, motherfuckers be going into Steam like Steam's the fucking savings account and shit. Like, Steam's the future of fucking your finance. And look, Steam could go back up. Don't get me wrong. And I know a lot of people are going to take this as, a, as if I'm hating on Steam, but I'm just keeping it real, man. I'm just keeping it fucking real, dude. And you got to think about this shit, man. You know, you don't want to just be blind and just saying, oh, I'm going with the crowd. Fuck that shit, dude. Don't go with the crowd. I can't wait to get this this Beetle Queen leveled up, dude. She's got Inspire. She will fit right in this bitch. Shit's gonna be nice. Nice. But this nine, I ain't got it. I ain't got it like that. So yeah, pretty, pretty good, man. Shout out to Exile. I know he's a fucking humongous um dude. Uh Steam dude. And yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, is this what we're doing? I think so. Yeah, that's cool. It's just, you know, for what? Why? Just give me, give me the use case. Give me the reasons. And then, you know, we can talk about that. But there's just a lot of cheerleaders and there's a lot of people just hoping and wishing, man. You know, you could say the same about Bitcoin. Oh, you're just hoping and wishing. You know, Peter Schiff says that. Oh, all these people are buying Bitcoin. And they're just hoping and dreaming that Bitcoin's going to go up and they're going to be able to sell for more fiat. Yeah, well, it's probably going to happen, but um, and there's a reason behind Bitcoin. Bitcoin was created out of fucking thin air, dude. Bitcoin came out of nothing. Just this fucking protocol, just this fucking shit that was out there. Damn. Well, at least you gotta retaliate and a poison off. Yeah. All right, shit's bugging out. We ain't gonna win. Damn, son. 
Look at this, he played all magic and we we're weak magic. I guess we should have had some uh, armor. Life would have probably been good there. No healing though. No Healy heals. So Bitcoin, you know, was created. It was the first to ever do it, you know, and this is money, man. It's money, 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 man. Money works off of trust, man. You know, you can say Facebook, MySpace, you can say Steam, and then the next blockchain that comes out that does something. Mines. I don't know. Is Mines even blockchain? If it is, you know, mines might fucking take over Steam, dude. I don't know if it's Ethereum or what. But trust, man, trust, damn. You know, and trying to figure this out, trying to talk about it, explain it, and make sense of it helps me learn, helps me get a firmer grasp on it. And that's what you gotta do, dude. That is what you gotta do. So I'm gonna comment on that and see what the deal is. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna comment, see what the deal is, and just, just see if I can get, you know, somebody to lay out the best use case for Steam, you know? Steam was created, I think, shadily, 2016 or whatever the hell 2015 I don't know centralized type of thing created like that was it a pre mine was it steam has a humongous inflation rate which sucks your money just keeps going down and down I guess kind of need that I don't know there's a lot of issues and I'm not saying that these things can't be worked out but for all these people to just blindly be like oh invest become a minnow what are you waiting for you're a pussy you're you're not in it you know all these people that uh you're afraid to make a commitment you know this is why you're not successful in life like no man you gotta make fucking smart decisions in life none of this cheerleading shit peer pressure shit you know i'm anti-peer pressure i do feel the peer pressure and i'm not immune but believe me i'll stand the fuck up for myself i don't give a fuck you know, all these dudes want to peer pressure and shit. You know, it's not easy to go against the crowd. Especially when you're in the fucking crowd and everybody's telling you to do something. Look at this funky chicken back here. The funk. Got the funk. I should have put the funk back there. Put the funky chicken. Uh. Alright, he's going to take out my dude, huh? This is going to be a wild one. We need speed, dude. His dudes are way faster. We need speed. All right, here we go. Now we got our reflect out there, bro. Don't hit me, son. Don't hit me, son. Oh, the blast. He got his blast off, though. That's a problem. Woo-hoo-hoo. Reflecting for three? How dare you? How dare you? It's funky chicken. Nothing. Funky, bro. Funky. Get that funky funk. So, yeah, I'm curious, man. I'm curious about Steam. I want to know what's up with it. And uh, I want to think critically about it. Just the way I do with Bitcoin. You know, I want to think about Bitcoin. The forks, the hard forks, the centralized mining, the could it be a scam, the back door, you know, anything I can think of to try to discredit Bitcoin or, or be like, man, you know what? Bitcoin, it's kind of a scam. You know, something like that. You know, I want to know, dude. I want to think about this shit. I need a funky chicken, bro. I need a funky chicken. Look at this. What is this? Minus one headwinds? Is this minus one melee? Oh, baby, it's finally out. Headwind. And does that mean that the Lord is gone from PAX and the other dudes are gone from PAX too? I think it does, yeah. That means they're officially gone, dude, forever. And somebody else said, yeah, I don't I don't see it in the comments when I was watching that video. 
I don't see a correlation between, what do I need, a four drop? I don't see a correlation or a three drop between, I guess I'll do this, Splinterland success and Steam success, and neither do I. It's not. It's not correlated, I don't think. And especially because Splinterlands could just up and leave, dude. You know, I think Splinterlands, believe it or not, my two cents, and I said this from the get-go, when they when Splinterlands announced they came out with DEC tokens. Splinterlands is it's it's against Steam. It's fighting against Steam. It's like taking Steam's hump. It's taking Steam's users, it's taking everything that Steam has, like Steam's base, and then saying, okay, this is a good base, you know, you built a good base, now we're going to take off with it, you know, we're going to take everything that's here, useful, and we're going to build off of it, and we're going to, we're going to take it, you know, and if we got to go, we got to go, and that's just what it is. That's my opinion, I don't know about, too much about the, the media tokens that people are talking about, the Steam media tokens. But if everybody has a, a token here, like Deck, I don't want to buy Steam. I want to buy Deck. I want to buy Deck, not Steam. So you tell me how that's going to work out for Steam, all the Steam pumpers. You know, just tell me. It doesn't make sense to me. It does not make sense to me, so... Hey... Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm right. So all the dudes that are getting funky, like a funky chicken on Steam and powering up Steam and cheerleading and shit, you know, give give some reasons, man. Give some reasons to the people, like the dude stacking, dude. He made this fucking post, you know, no offense to the dude, but he makes these, these small posts, these quick posts, slaps some shit up there. And then gets twenty dollars or whatever because he uses his steam power to generate these automatic votes. You know, there's no way that people would be upvoting that shit. People don't do that shit. What the fuck? I'm not saying it's not good content, but it's it's not good content. I, I am saying it's not good content. No offense, but I'm gonna be honest. It's not good content. Who the fuck? You know? No, no, no offense, bro. You know, I respect the hustle, but. You know, you gotta, you gotta take the fucking, the hammer, take the criticism, you know, you can think my shit sucks too, you can say, oh, this fucking dude gets on here, starts blabbing some shit, starts talking some shit, playing Splinterlands and shit, fuck this dude, his videos suck, and you can say that, and my videos probably do suck, and they could suck, and that's okay. But, it's just... Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me, man. You know, Steam, it's like a pump and dump. It's like a fucking pump, dude. Everybody's trying to pump it and say, get on, get on, get on. What are you waiting for? Get on, get on, get on. And really what they're saying is, fuck, my investment went in the shitter. We need more people. We need more users. Guys, pump, pump, pump. Buy Steam. Upvote. Fucking whatever. Hop on this shit. Uh, you know, do this shit. Get your fucking steam up, bro. Get your fucking steam up. You know, buy steam, buy steam. It's like pump my bags, pump my bags. It's like really what it is to me. It seems like a cry for help. Because if it was so popular, so valuable, number one, you wouldn't have to tell anybody. But let's just say you're just raising awareness, which is fine. You would, in you would instead of just telling people to pump and buy, you would bring a reason why. You would say, yo, here's why to buy Steam. Here's why, duh, it's fucking obvious. You're an idiot if you don't. Instead, motherfuckers are just saying, do it because, do it because. There's no reason, there's no reason to do it. And even Matt's fucking saying that he's struggling to find a reason for people to hold Steam. Right, why the fuck would people hold the Steam token? You know? You tell me, motherfucker. I can't find a reason. I'd rather fucking hold deck. I'd rather buy fucking packs. Splinterlands. You know? 
You might have made a bad investment buying Steam. I don't know. We'll fucking see. Eh? Eh? Alright, here's the battle. He's got one more health. Are we gonna attack first? Oh shit. Oh shit. Here we go. Coming down to this. Oh shit! Luck. We got lucky. We got fucking. Oh, but we lost! How the fuck did we lose? Oh my goodness. It was probably because of the self heal and fatigue. Well, damn, son. Well, damn, son! And that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna make a post on that exile comment, whatever his uh, comment on his post. And we'll see what he says, man. But, uh. Damn. I never thought I would have seen this, really. You know, I don't know. But it does look. It, it's. Uh, bro, I don't know, man. Kind of looking bad for Steam, if I'm being honest. And maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm fucking confused. That's quite a possibility. You know, I quit smoking weed, so, you know, there's that. Did I quit? I don't know. Have I smoked? No. So there's that. I haven't smoked. Okay, so, earthquake, but everybody loses flying. Well then! That sucks. I don't know, man. It's interesting. I like to think about stuff like this. I always think about Bitcoin. How can Bitcoin fail? You know, I'm always thinking that shit. Because I'm not just going to be putting my fucking money into something blindly. And just being like, I'm on Team B. I'm on Team Bitcoin. Yeah. All right. All stupid and shit. No, man. I'm questioning that shit. I'm trying to think about it. How the fuck did this shit fail? Will it fail? Would it fail? Game theory, you know, all this shit. Will people want it? What's the benefit? You know, I'm passionate as hell about Bitcoin, dude. That's what made me fucking start making these videos and making this fucking channel. To get people to fucking know about Bitcoin. To get this word out here and be like, yo, this shit's fucking amazing, dude. Here's why. Because no one can control that shit, alright? It's the first time in human history that we've had money that... There's no fucking middleman. You know, this is the Byzantine general's problem solution. This is amazing. I have to get out here. I have to fucking let this shit be known. Share this shit. So, that's what I'm talking about. And if Steam's good too, you know, I'd like to hear why. All right, so my shark don't do shit. I guess he takes a couple hits. Alright, we're, we're having a problem here, dude. Are we? I don't know. Earthquake is gonna fuck us up, though. I think... Is he gonna outlast us due to Earthquake, yo? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He is, dude. Earthquake! Fucking Earthquake, man. Earths be quaking some days, man. Earths be quaking some days. Now watch out for them Earthquakes. Earthquake! Oh, man. So, yeah, you know, it's good stuff to think about, man. You know, question your investments. Question your stance. Even if you do have a lot of steam powered up. And that's another thing, man. You know, Bitcoin's liquid, dude. You got a lot of Bitcoin powered up, which means, you know, AKA, you got a lot of fiat US dollar or whatever your currency is invested in fucking Bitcoin. Well, guess what? You can turn around and sell that shit. You can turn around and, and do whatever. You can get out of that shit in the snap of a finger. How about steam? You power up steam. You're fucking beat, son. Sorry, bro. You got to power down in increments and all this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say whatever. Crash the network. It's good. This, that, and the other thing. But the reality is, you're locking your shit up. You're locking your shit the fuck up. And that's like the telltale sign of a scam. And I'm not saying Steam's a scam. But I am saying, that's a fucking telltale sign, bro. You know, with the USI tech and the BitConnect shit, that, that was the... The, one of the, the things was the guaranteed return, all right? 
So you get the fucking guaranteed return on investment. That's a problem. But you also get the locked up. They lock your money up. So they say, oh, you know, you, you give us this, uh, whatever you give us, we'll give you 10% a month or whatever the fuck, 1% a month, uh, but your shit's locked up for a year. Steam's the same way. You know, I got 300 Steam sitting there locked up. What can I do with it? What does it do for me? Nothing. I don't know. I'm not fucking taking advantage of it, that's for sure. I'm not using any of these upload bots. I'm not fucking taking my Steam and, and delegating it or doing any of this other shit. You know, what the fuck? Let's just have a good-ass platform. I don't know. You know, do we have to delegate and learn that shit? And Is there a button on Steam It that lets me do that? I don't see it. And I got to go to these back door ways to whatever the fuck. Steam Engine? I don't even know. I got to research it. I got to use fucking energy to research that shit. I don't feel like doing that shit. So what the fuck? Make it easy on the user. That, that's the number one thing I would say for Steam or any platform. Make it fucking easy on the user. Don't make it hard. <coughs> Motherfuckers don't feel like doing that shit. All right, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah, no. Shit. Ah, no. Speed. Speed kills, bro. Shit it on. The new season welcome. The new season welcomes the new steam. But in the end, it's probably all just a cash grab. Has, it has usefulness, but I'll tell you what, man, I will ride with Splinterlands way before I ride with Steam. So like, well, why wouldn't you? Splinterlands gives you a fucking game, dude. You can play a game. That's useful. People like to play games. Here I am making videos and I'm playing games. Why, you know, Splinterlands isn't attached to Steam. It can detach anytime. And I already called it when they, they brought Tron in and they offered this deck token. Deck is against Steam, in my opinion, man. It's a conflict of interest. And it is. You know, because it certainly conflicts my interest. Do I buy Steam? Do I buy Deck? Hands down, I buy Deck, dude. I buy fucking Deck all day. Why? Because I'm interested in playing the game. What does Steam do? You know, I'm, I want to play, I want to get this. I want some Deck, dude. You know? I want some Deck, bro. Never heard, never thought you'd hear me say that shit, huh? Give me the Deck. But that's just the way it is, man. No. Keeping it real, man. Keeping it fucking real. I could be wrong. But, you know, with that, you also got to consider I could be fucking right. I could be wrong, but guess what? I could be right. So, you're putting all your money into this shit. You know, you might want to think twice. And, but you know, ultimately, it's it's up to the people. You know, I could be wrong. You put all your money in, you might make a lot of money. Ugh! But yeah, it, it, it's interesting. It's interesting to think about. I'm kind of new. You know, I haven't even been here a year. This October fourth. Today is October first, first day of October. But in three days, I will have been on Steam for a full year. And I'm bringing a new perspective, you know? I'm not heavily invested in Steam. I'm not a dude that's got a lot of money and, and I'm cheerleading and I'm trying to build Steam up. I'm just here. I'm just a fucking content creator, a dude that's talking shit. And uh, I'm using Steam as a platform because it is a platform and, and I'm giving my honest opinion about it, pros and cons. And uh, you know, what can I say, dude? I Splinterlands and Deck over Steam and Steam It. That's pretty much it. That's the that's the conclusion, man. Kind of crazy, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, we'll see what happens, dude. We'll see how it goes. Are we gonna trample? Are we about to trample? Oh, son, we about to trample.
Thorns. Thorns. Oh, we about to trample again? No. Yeah. About to hit me with thorns. Okay. Thorns. All right, now the big boss man is here. Don't let him do that. Don't let him retaliate. Okay. He don't give a fuck. He retaliates, bro. When he misses, look at him. He's a 6'2". You can't hit my boy, bro. Dodge at 7 speed. You can't touch me. All right, what are we doing? Is that going to be it, man? I think that is going to be it for today. A quickie for today, man. Splinterlands quickie. And, uh, you know, don't get offended, dude. Don't get offended by the critical construction feedback on Steam. It is what it is, man. You got to take it and you got to think about it for yourself. I do it with Bitcoin. I do it with XRP. I do it with everything. I do it with my life. You know, quit smoking. Don't smoke. Why? Because you could fucking die, dude. You know, do you want to have a long life? Do you want to be a father to your kids? A husband to your wife? You know, you probably shouldn't smoke fucking every day, you dumbass. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of fucking things that you got to think about in life, man. Don't just be stupid. Don't be a cheerleader. Don't just hop on the train. And I know it's even harder if you made a, a large investment in something and you think that, you know, it's the shit. And you don't want to think critically about it, but you got to, man. You got to be real with yourself. All right, so that's going to be it for this Tuesday edition of the stream. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody has a great day. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Later.